So you are now watching the video about the iPhone's camera versus Android phones cameras. A lot of people have been pointing out that the iPhone is extremely, extremely behind with their camera technology. And for one, I cannot agree more. I feel like even though Apple has been pushing this concept that megapixels aren't everything, that is true. And I know this coming from a background of working with many DSLR cameras to make videos, to do photography. Sometimes what's more important is the sensor technology. You could pick up a phone or a phone, a camera that has 40 megapixels that has terrible low light uh, performance. The higher the megapixels, the worse the low light performance. And the best way to make sure you get good low light performance is to focus on your sensor technology more than your megapixel count. This is a very true thing, but at the same time, why can't Apple bump up their megapixels toward 12 or like 14, a reasonable number where you're able to do somewhat, somewhat larger prints and also possibly be able to crop a little bit while not losing resolution. One concept that really baffles me is why they won't bump up the megapixels pretty much at all. It stood at eight megapixels for quite a long time, a few generations now. And at the same time, there's another issue Apple's had. Why have they not offered 4K video recording? I guarantee that the way the phone's set up right now, it can produce 4K video recording, but Apple's not offering it. Now, a lot of people can debate all day about why they're not offering it. There's probably a lot of good reasons that Apple could explain that I can't, but one of the things that I was thinking about is it's gonna use up a lot of storage and Apple phones, the biggest flaws with them is they charge so much money to expand your storage on your phone. So I feel like it would kind of be a pain, it would fill up your phone quicker, but that sounds like a selling point to Apple. They're gonna be able to sell higher gigabyte phones more frequently because people want to use 4K recording. So that's another flaw of the Apple phone. But a lot of people are treating the Apple uh, phone, the iPhones, the iPhones camera, as if it's extremely mediocre as if it's old technology, like three-year-old technology. The reality is, although they haven't upgraded the megapixels, which is very true, they have increased the uh, processing capabilities of the camera with the new chips, the A8 and the A7, and you know, in the past, the A6 as well. They've also increased the, uh, the sensor quality, the ability to get better low light production, Obviously, they have the optical stabilization, which I believe they have in a couple other Android phones, which is huge. It does really help with uh, getting better low light performance. And they've also increased the lens quality. Now, that's one thing people don't realize. Apple uses that sapphire crystal and everyone, everyone's heard that term millions of times and everyone seems to think that's just becoming a, a bullshit term. It's not, it's not really that meaningful. But the reality is, when it comes to glass on a lens, that is extremely, extremely important for photo reproduction of quality, for making sure there's no aberration, for making sure there's no warping on the, uh, the wider uh, angle photos that are taken, because phones take very wide angle photos, by the way. It also helps with clarity and sharpness. And really, you can get a more sharp image with a really nice lens and an eight megapixel sensor than you could with a crappy lens and a 15 megapixel sensor. It's just, it all comes down to sharpness and just having good glass in front of your sensor. Everyone who has ever used an SLR camera and who has bought lenses for their SLR camera that cost a reasonable amount knows that good glass is very important to making a great camera. So with that being said, that is one feature in the iPhone that you really can't get in other phones. I believe there are a couple options in the Android phone ecosystem that allow you to have better glass. Like they have that snap-on um, Carl Zeiss glass that you could put onto Sony phones, I believe. Um, but honestly, it's not built into the phone like the iPhone is. It's much more compact and it's really nice glass overall. It gives you better photo uh, color reproduction, gives you better sharpness. All around, it's very nice. Other thing you have to consider is the image processing. Apple has very good image processing to back their, uh, their camera. You can literally put it in you know, the typical auto mode, not modify anything, and it knows exactly what frame rates to use. 
or not frame rate, sorry, uh, it knows exactly what shutter speed to use in certain situations. It's very smart to see fast movement and then boom, use faster shutter speeds. When I had my Note 3 and I used my Note 3 a lot, the photo quality was beautiful, very high megapixels, but a lot of flaws that I found with the Note 3 were that I'd be taking a photo of, of my dog moving around and you get very blurry images even in very good bright areas because what would happen is for some reason the aperture would close up so you get better lighting and then they would uh, slow down the shutter speed for some reason. The automatic shooting mode on a lot of Android phones is very poor. So for the average user who doesn't know a lot about photography, you're going to end up with worse photos overall on some of these phones with 15 megapixels, 20 megapixels in those higher ranges. I mean, megapixels, once again, aren't everything. Now, with that being said, are there things Apple can improve on? Absolutely. I really wish they would have at least introduced 4K video as an option, even if it was going to take up a lot of memory. I really wish they would have at least bumped the megapixels, at least two megapixels, give us a little bit more cropping ability. iPhone photos are so hard to crop and get decent quality. Um, but all around, there are improvements on this phone for the video and for the uh, photo quality, even though they haven't increased the megapixels. Um, that 1 8th speed recording for video is very impressive, and I believe there are other phones that do it. Um, so they're just playing catch up there. So in some ways, yeah, the camera could be improved, but to call it 2012 quality is kind of a little bit out of hand overall. But uh, that is it for the camera video. Uh, if you guys want to check out the video, the first video, which you may not have seen, which is the intro to the series of videos, check it out here. If you want to see the resolution video about screen resolution and screen size, click here. And if you want to see the video about the processor and the specifications, click here. But that is it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, please leave a like and comment below with suggestions on what you'd like to see in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.